Very good afternoon to all of you. Thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity. Well, how would you feel that if you know that the person who is talking to you has a major portion of his right side of the brain removed? How would you feel if you know that the person who is talking to you has lost almost 70% of the hearing and has been working with 30% of the hearing for almost now two decades? And how would you feel if you know that the person who is talking to you has six screws grilled in his spine, he has difficulty in walking even now, but he still tries to maintain his schedule every day from 3.30 a.m. till 11 p.m. in the night. That's the power of thought and that's the power of feeling, my dear friend. We are all made of stories. And today, I'm going to take you on a very beautiful and rejuvenating journey. When we talk about yoga and meditation, it's all about your knowledge, your patience, your motivation, and above all, your attitude. Today, I'm going to take you on one of the most revealing journeys of your life. This is my story, my dear friends. I must emphasize, as I've been hearing so many stories, that science and spirituality are not working against each other, but they are working in harmony with each other. And I also started my journey like a kid. Once upon a time, like a little child, very innocent, playful, in school, full of joy, full of love, and full of happiness. But as everybody was told, and I was also programmed, that life is not about this. Life is about chasing success, and life is about chasing happiness. And I started running very beautifully. I ran perfectly. I achieved and dreamt of so many things and I could attract success magnetically towards me. My life was full of fulfillment, of materialistic things and everything going on perfect. And then came one day that changed my life forever. And that was my first story, my dear friends. The power of thoughts and the power of belief. It was an evening of 20th March 2003. I came home after operating almost for one and a half days being working in one of the busiest centers of the country. An evening, 6.37, my mother offered me food, sitting right here in front of me. I said, no, I don't feel like. And she said, okay, have a cup of ice cream. And at 7.30, I got a beautiful, wonderful cup of ice cream. 15 seconds later, that cup fell on the floor and I collapsed on the floor of my house. This was like the end of the world for a young cardiologist. I was throwing massive scissors. My young sister, again sitting here in front of me. They all lifted me up, put me into the car, and rushed me to the hospital. Whole night, my doctors, my professors working on me, trying to control my seizures. Next day, when I regain my consciousness, my scans are done, and this is what I got in my brain, a large mass in right side of my brain. Diagnosed as multi-drug resistant tuberculosis. 19 drugs available at that time in 2003, resistant to 18 of them. 16 tablets every day, 8 in the morning, 8 in the evening, regimes designed specifically, and every day one toxic injection, a mycosin, I used to receive. One millimeter, my anesthetist used to come and inject it on my hand. It was like a fight of a David and a Goliath, my dear friends. Ultimately, in lying down in the ICU, I was thinking, what has happened, Mohit, in your life? I knew that I had landed myself in a pandemic of personal mismanagement. Check your own lives. Right here at this moment, take a pause that what is the kind of life that we have created? Are we maintaining that balance? I knew that I had lost that sense of balance in my life. Work and life balance. I knew that life is supposed to be very, very simple and uncomplicated. But only by our own thinking, we have made a mess out of it. We have made a mess out of it. I also knew, my dear friends, that we are trying to meet deadlines. Even in spiritual life, we try to meet deadlines. We are pushing ourselves so hard. Spirituality is not about running. Spirituality is about being, being existent in your present self. In enjoying and nurturing your life, that is what is the power of spirituality. And that is the day I started coming out of my emergency mode. I knew that I had to do something different. And my surgery was done on 30, 20th June 2005. I thought, now, Mohit, you are perfectly fine. 
your life is going to be perfectly fine and just six months later when my scans were repeated in january 2006 this is what i got in my brain my dear friends another new lesion in the cerebellum doctor said this is not operable dr mohit you are already on the maximum possible doses I was being rushed from one place to the other, satisfying so many spiritual gurus, running from every place. I was smiling because I knew God is there always at back of me. I was following Brahmacharya right from my beginning. I used to practice Raj Yoga meditation. And that is the day I knew that old ways are not going to open new doors. I have to do something new for me. One of the very senior yogis of our Brahma Kumaris, Dadi Gulzar, whom I fondly remember, who has nurtured me right from my childhood, I went to her and said, Dadi ji, this is what had happened. And you know, she took only two minutes to talk to me very politely and smilingly said, Mohit, you are a yogi, why don't you use the power of yoga to heal yourself? It is so beautiful. That thing clicked me. And you know, those were the times when people talking about meditation were considered as Faltu hai bhai, khali hai. These were the times, 2003, they never used to believe in that. And I was also to some extent, to that extent that this is not going to work on my brain. But that day, I shut off my brain from everything outside. I knew that I have to do something phenomenal and something wonderful in my life. And I started changing my life, my dear friends. I got up every day in the morning and started doing focused meditation on my brain for almost an year, charging the water, rejecting the disease out of my brain. And that was my own spiritual journey. Nobody can actually imagine what I was going through at that time. People were telling, Mohit, scan kara, let us go to this doctor, let us go to this doctor. I was having a deaf ear towards them because I knew it has to work for me. Look at the amalgamation. Look at the blend of science and spirituality. There is no definite, my dear friends. Science and spirituality are working in conjuncture, in amalgamation with each other. They are complementing each other. I never stopped my medicines. I complemented them with my strong belief system. And one year later, when my scans were done, my dear friends, after practicing beautiful Raj Yoga meditation, this legend had disappeared out of my brain in April 2007. This was the power. Our body, which is made of 50 trillion cells, my dear friends, it's working like a philharmonic orchestra. It's not unique to a yogi or a guru or a mahatma or a sadguru. No, 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 not at all. It's unique to a mindset. That is what I want to tell you. Each one of you who is sitting here in this world, who is observing this, has the power to create miracles in your life. Only and only ingredient is your belief system in your thoughts, my dear friends. That's the power of spirituality. That's the power of healing. We have the power to reprogram our brain and body. Today, we are using neuroplasticity. We are using rewiring our brains, our sobhav, sanskars, our whole programming only and only and only by doing one thing that is changing your thoughts. You change your thoughts, your life changes. You change your thoughts, your destiny changes. You change your thoughts, your world changes, my dear friends. Dr. Eric Candle got a Nobel Prize for this when he worked on snails in 2000. What did he show? Nerve cells that fire together, they wire together. You keep on thinking the same thing again and again, your body and your brain will be rewired for whatever you want. It could be positive and it could also be negative, my dear friends. If you think, I always feel ill, I'm not going to get success, I don't think I'm going to achieve this, your brain is only going to say inside, tathastu, tathastu, tathastu. And you do it for 21 days, that meri tabiyat kharaab rehti, it will put a illness out of the nature and put it into your body. That's it. This is how neuroplastic science is working. This is pure science. And that is why I am here to tell you, note it down, that 17 seconds you form a new neuron and you repeat it continuously for 3 cycles. You enter into the third phase, program for 21 to 254 days. You get a whole new life, my dear friends. The message is this, whatever you want to create outside, must first be created in your mind first, in your thoughts first. That is the power that we have. Look at the scientific experiments of magnetoencephalogram. A normal brain is prone to anxiety and depression. And when the scans are done, look at the imbalance between both right and left brain. 
15 minutes is what it takes to create miracles in your brain and 20 minutes of meditation. Mind you, we are gifted with 1440 minutes every day, my dear friends. I'm saying, don't you have 20 minutes for your own self in this world? Meditation doesn't require more. It requires a powerful, authentic and lovely peaceful state of mind and this is what you get a more optimized a more integrated a emotionally stable and an empowered system that is the power of belief and of thoughts my dear friends you are ready to create miracles we are working only with our left brain for people who believe in karma you get an analytical accurate reasoning and scientific you get 50 percent of the success not more than that but remember when you turn yourself from being a karma performer to a karm yogi, you create miracles because you activate your right brain, which is loving, which is passionate, and which is beautifully poetic and creative, my dear friends. This is the harmony that we all can create in our life. That's the power of meditation. Today in our own labs, we are collaborating with Triple IIT and Genomics and we are working on reversing the happiness, reversing the depression, reversing the anger and inculcating the happiness and joy in people. We are reversing the aging of people by their thoughts, by their belief system and by changing their way of thinking, my dear friends. The ingredient is, as I said, the belief that you have. My second story, my dear friends. The true essence of healing. It was a day of 2018. It was 9.30 p.m. in the night. And I was almost winding off my work after operating almost more than 20 cases. And as I was just about to leave with my colleague, we had a young boy, 22-year-old, who was brought dead in front of our lab. He was being massaged. His ECG was a flat line. His blood pressure was not recordable. His pulse was not recordable. And we were asked, Dr. Gupta, you have to operate this guy. I said, nothing is left in them. What are we going to do? He said, give it your best try. We put him on the ventilator system. We started working on his three arteries. All of them clogged, unusually clogged. We took out all the thrombus. And after one and a half, two hours of good, heavy work, we could restore the flow, but achieve a blood pressure of only 50 to 60 millimeters of mercury. My mind was saying he's not going to survive, but my heart was saying somewhere, somehow, he has a chance, he might just make it. I shifted him to the ICU and went back. And next day when we went for rounds, you would be surprised that young boy was sitting in his bed as if nothing had happened in his life a day before. He still had a ventilating tube inside his mouth and everybody was happy as you are happy now. But that was one of the most disturbing days of my life and why I'll tell you because I was wondering yaar ye 22 saal ke ladke ko heart attack kyo ho kya? why he's a non-smoker he's a non-diabetic no family history lipids are normal everything is perfect phir bhi heart attack ho gaya. I must talk to this person I went to his father married for one he's, that boy was married for two years had a four month young daughter angelic daughter I said I want to speak to his wife they said you are not it's not possible I said, why? He said, they are on the verge of divorce. One month later, they are going to separate from each other. They have already given up their papers. I was surprised. I said, please, on my behalf, call that young lady. I want to speak to that girl. Reluctantly, they called that young girl and she came running there. And I shifted everybody out and I extubated that young boy in our ICU. And two hours later, when I connected with them, I said, what is wrong in your life? What is wrong in your life? And you know what he said? Sir, listen to me what he said. Sir, we earn a six-digit salary. I drive a big car, no problem at all. We have a four-bedroom plush apartment. But sir, for last two years, we have never connected with each other. We had all the things in our life which are materialistic. But we never had time for each other. We never understood the feelings of each other. And ultimately, we thought that we must separate from each other. I said, perfect decision. But can you do one thing for me for one month? And they said, yes, sir, we will do that one thing for you. And I very gently asked them, for one month, have a dinner together. Connect with each other. Have a e-free dinner together. Don't open your television. Just understand and accept each other. Just nurture each other. 
just try to express your feelings and don't be analytical about each they said yes sir we will do and the second thing i said to the young lady that i am going to discharge your husband but i am going to see him in opd only on one condition she said what i said only if you hold his hand and bring to my opd and you know she was laughing sir kuch aur bata dete maine kaha nahi itna hi kar lo bahut hai and they started coming to my opd the first tuesday they came they smiling and our opd is a typical 1000 1500 patient opd we don't even have time to look up and they came smiling to my opd i also smiled at them no counseling nothing every week they used to came one week two weeks three weeks and four weeks those four weeks changed into four months and those four months changed into four years and it's more than four years they still come to my opd holding hand of each other they are smiling with each other and they've withdrawn their divorce papers and their young old child has grown into a four year old daughter that's the power of spirituality that's the power of your belief system my dear friends i want to tell you spirituality is not about chanting mantras spirituality is not about reading scriptures shastra to hum sab log padhte rehte hain lekin shastra mai jeevan hona un cheezon ko apni life mein har aspect mein use karna that is the power of spirituality and that is why they we started some phenomenal experiments which are published as white papers you must listen to them dimag ke sare jale saaf kar dega listen to this experiments and you know we gathered 150 patients in our opd i operate typically 200 cases it's the busiest center in the asia and starting from 7 till 9 we just work like machines and 30% of my cases whom i operate are between the age of 18 to 35 years unme se wo bacche jinko koi risk factor nahi tha they didn't have risk factors i picked up all of them i started measuring their stress and i also started measuring their genetic length which technically we know as telomere length जैसे हमारे शरीर की उम्र होती है यू मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड सिंपली इवन इफ यू आर नॉट अ डॉक्टर डजेंट मैटर सिमिलरली वी आल्सो हैव अ बायोलॉजिक एज अवर बायोलॉजिक एज डिटरमिन्स द क्वालिटी ऑफ अवर लाइफ एंड द डिजीज दैट वी आर मैनिफेस्टिंग द हायर द टेलोमियर लेंथ लेस आर द चांसेस दैट वी आर गोइंग टू गेट इल now look what the results were which we presented in european congress these young children were between the age of 18 to 30 years but when we measured their biologic age look at the red para, uh, bar their biologic age was equal to a 60 to 95 year old person us young ladke mein 60 se 95 saal ka buzurg uske barabar ki genes us recite kar rahi thi i was amazed aisa ho kyu raha hai why their genetic structure was so much destroyed with no risk factors we found that 98% of them had severe level of psychosocial stress lack of love lack of purpose anger lack of happiness and lack of gratitude in their life fir maine kaha koi baat nahi tanav to sabko hi hota hai how does stress make much of the difference and when we further research the literature look at this what we got those people who have no purpose who have lack of love and happiness in their life anger in their life their telomerase enzyme goes down and their telomere or the genetic length goes down and they fast express the disease on the contrary those people who are loving each other those people who have good nutrition happiness and gratitude in your life those are the people whose genetic length is maintained that is what i want to tell you my dear friends look at this look at the quality of life that we all have created jitna saman batora hai utna sukoon bhi humne apni life mein batora hai nahi apne aap se pooch kar dekhiye abhi राइट हेयर इसका पूछ कर देखिए वी हैव गैदर्ड सो मच मेटरलिस्टिक वेल्थ जरूरी है इंजॉय योर लाइफ बट उसके साथ इट्स इक्वली इंपॉर्टेंट टू हैव लव जॉय हैप्पीनेस टू इंजॉय दैट लेवल ऑफ एग्जिस्टेंस इन आर लाइफ एंड दैट इज वाई माई डियर फ्रेंड्स देर इज ओनली एंड ओनली वन सीक्रेट टू फुलफिलिंग सक्सेसफुल एंड हैप्पी लाइफ डॉक्टर रॉबर्ट वॉल्डिंग the harvard second generation study or the grant and the glue x study what did it show that out of 70 parameters of 400 600 young harvard people followed up for 75 years there was only one secret to fulfilling life it's not about religion it's not about money it's not about reading scriptures it's not about their position power what they have it was only and only about their good and powerful relations my dear friends what is the quality of love that we have for each other for our own self for god and in our own personal and professional life that is what creates the quality of our relations my dear friends today standing here i want to tell you that it's time to move back or complement high tech with high 
touch in our lives, compassion in our life, love in our life. Spirituality inculcates joy and compassion, nurturing everybody. कहते हैं ना कपड़ों से इत्र की खुशबू आना आम बात है कपड़ों से इत्र की खुशबू आना आम बात है मजा तब है जब आपकी शख्सियत आपके किरदार से भी खुशबू आनी चाहिए यू शुड हैव अ परसोना यू शुड हैव अ ग्लोइंग पर्सनालिटी दैट एवरीबडी हु कम्स नियर यू दे फील कनेक्टेड टू गॉड दे फील कनेक्टेड एंड एक्सपीरियंस द लव द जॉय एंड द डिवाइन पावर ऑफ गॉड दैट्स द पावर ऑफ फीलिंग दैट्स द पावर ऑफ कंपैशन I must tell you, my dear friends, that we have the power to regulate our genes. Standing here, I must tell you that look at these eight emotions in your life. We have been talking about meditation. We have been talking about so many things for two and a half days. My message to you here is: look at these eight things. Look at the amount of anger and irritation. Look at the amount of hatred and jealousy. Look at the amount of complaint, competition, criticism, and expectations in your life, my dear friends. Do we harbor any of these emotions in our mind today? Remember, you may sit in meditation for hours and hours. You may chant mantras for days and days. You may take samadhis for years and years, my dear friends. But remember. if your mind is full of anger and if your heart is full of hatred my dear friends you are far away from spirituality true spirituality is cleaning your mind of all these belief systems all these negativities that we harbor in our life today standing here i must tell you that yoga and meditation i am not here to tell you that do raj yoga meditation no raj yoga meditation has worked wonders for me for my childhood i have been a follower of brahma kumari proudly i have experienced and read about all the forms of meditation but i must tell you today that today inculcate true meditation which is actually empowering your soul and cleaning your mind just as you clean your body take out time to clean your soul and clean your mind also embrace love in your life instead of hatred embrace generosity embrace acceptance embrace compassion embrace appreciation and embrace amicability and adaptability this is the power of true spirituality my dear friend this is the true healing that we all have to create by power of our soul you were hearing that wonderful lady sharing her cancer experiences why why does it happen simple because your thoughts are so much empowered that they don't have time to think that you are ill they reject disease your immune system your parasympathetic system shuts off your sympathetic system your immunity your endorphins your gaba pentens your dopamine they are serotonin they are so powerfully released that complete harmony is created and all pain relieving causing genes uh, chemicals are decreased and all the cancer causing genes are shut off within 3 weeks of your powerful meditation my dear friends that's the healing power that's the science that is working behind this powerful meditation that you use in your life my dear friends my third story the power of true resilience my dear friends it was 21st march 2013 i was fond of playing badminton i used to play badminton so much and that was one of the only sports that i really used to love from my heart and 21st march 2013 i sustained a severe injury while playing badminton my i had started developing shooting pains back radiating to my left leg every day i was suffering i couldn't express i couldn't express to anybody i used to get up in the morning and i had only one dream that when i when will i be back to my courts i really wanted to go back and play badminton i told my friends ki kuch kar do yaar jaldi kar do theek ho jaunga operated do this they made me rest on my bed for a couple of weeks got a little well again jumped out went to the court again injured myself again to the bed and this cycle was going on and off for almost 9 months i couldn't tolerate the pain I used to still operate with a dragging leg because hands were needed but still I was really suffering and ultimately my dear friends on 20th 19th January 2014 my spine was fixed this is my first day post operative picture and this is what my spine looked like when I was operated and screws were implanted in my spine my dear friends I was very happy though there was so much pain but I knew I am going to be back to my work and only first day they made me walk within a week i was out of my home i was taking a stroll without any particular support and within a one month i joined my hospital and within few months i was back to my good 
professional work and today I am here, I am able to jog, I am able to exercise, I am able to do anything that I dream of in my life, my dear friends. That's the power of spirituality, that's the power of meditation. What I want to tell you, that he who has a why to live can bear with almost how. Spirituality builds your inner resilience. Spirituality builds so much tolerance that you can create miracles in your life. Whatever you want to achieve in your life, you can actually achieve in your life. Today, life is going to give you doldrums. Challenges are always going to be there and each one of us are made of beautiful stories. But I must tell you that while so many people and in fact 90 to 95 percent of the people of the world, they choose to spiral amongst the problems, my dear friends, standing here on this podium, I would like to say, don't just spiral, try to evolve out of these problems while spiraling. This is the power of spirituality. When you start believing and looking at the powerful opportunities, you start creating miracles in your life and you can heal yourself. You can have a very powerful and a beautiful life. In the end, I want to just give you this beautiful message that Raj Yoga meditation is one of the most powerful epigenetic tools. There are so many, but I have used it and it can really create miracles. You all charge your phone. You all charge your devices. You charge your laptops. You charge everything in this life. But my question to you is, do you just really take out time to truly charge your mind? Have you ever done that? Ask yourself. Talking about spirituality, lecturing about spirituality, motivating people about spirituality is one thing. Experiencing and becoming embodiment of that spirituality. So much so powerfully that your vibrations are creating magic. That is the power of spirituality. Spirituality tells us that words have no value. Spirituality tells us that language is designed to hide feelings. Spirituality tells us that when you work, you work with your energies and you work with your vibrations. That's the power of spirituality, my dear friends. Today, we must take out time to charge ourselves. And charge ourselves with what? which are the original gun or original traits or original virtues of our soul. What do we need? We don't need money. We don't need materialism. That is important for our life to make our life comfortable. But what truly we need in our life, my dear friends, the most beautiful things in our life are inexpensive. The second ones are most expensive in our life, my dear friends. And those inexpensive things are the God's purity, the God's knowledge, the happiness in your life the love in your life, the bliss or the anandam sthiti in your life and the peace and the shanti and the joy in your life. Try to experience this. This is true spirituality. This is the power of meditation, my dear friends. As I come to the end, I will just say a beautiful example and take you on a very short, brief journey of meditation. That a group of people, intellectuals like you, went to a saint and said, Ki, Sir, Time nahi milta hai. When should we practice meditation in our life? We are loaded with males, with so much work. We are professionals. How do we practice meditation? Our life is busy. And he just said that you can practice meditation only one day before you die. He said, Bas, itna hi? Unhone ka, yes, that is feasible. Yes, sir, that is very much feasible. And they were so happy. They started rushing out. Ho gaya kaam bhai. Mantra mil gaya. And one of the wise men turned back and said, Ki, Par, sir, humko to hi nahi ki hum kam he said, then you start doing it today because tomorrow what is going to happen? We don't know. My dear friends, this day, my dear friend, this day will go into the memories of your life. I don't know whether I am going to meet you again or not. That's a separate question. But you will remember this moment forever in your life. That one day, God used somebody as his instrument to give you this powerful message that time to change is not tomorrow, not today. The time to change is now. If you want to inculcate magic in your life, it is only now, my dear friend. And I would request all of you to click this slide which I am going to show you now because that is my only message and that is my only and only beautiful message. Keep it in your mobile, keep it in your mind if you don't want to clip. Click it, clip it always and forever in your life. That that today is going to be the first day of rest of your life. 
from today it's up to you that how you design your life from today it's up to you how you choose and program your thoughts to design the way you recreate your life you recreate your destiny my dear friends dhyan rakhiyega जब एक संकल्प चेंज होता है तो संकल्प से दृष्टि चेंज होती है जब दृष्टि चेंज होती है तो दृष्टि से कृति चेंज होती है जब कृति चेंज होती है तो उससे हमारी वृत्ति चेंज होती है और वृत्ति परिवर्तन से संस्कृति परिवर्तन होती है और संस्कृति से हमारी सृष्टि भी परिवर्तित हो जाती है संकल्प साधना से सृष्टि हमारी परिवर्तित होती है लेट एस नाउ गो बैक ऑन अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल ऑन एक्सपीरियंस जर्नी a very peaceful atmosphere very very peaceful not a drop of hours let us have our music played as i request it very low voice yeah chehra bhi muskurata hua aur man bhi muskurata hua take a deep breath just see yourself as a powerful glowing conscious energy a point of light seeing god's love purity peaceful vibrations showering your soul experience the magic your every thought is free of anger and irritation i radiate all the positive energy to all my cells of body i am healthy i am always going to be healthy I radiate love to all my relations compassion and understanding God's powerful aura is healing me is creating magic visualize your future create your future everything is going to be just perfect see yourself protected in the pure and powerful aura of god a beautiful aura stay in this blissful state experience the peace you are peaceful you are loving you are a shining angel of god you are a miracle you have the power to create miracles in your life om shanti Thank you so much for a patient hearing. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.